Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your man Soul here. I want to welcome everyone back to my channel. I hope everyone out there is being as safe as they possibly can during the lockdown and keeping their loved ones safe as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to utilize WoW Analyzer to improve upon your character's performance in a raid. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who checked out my latest video, The Guide to Gold Management. It was the first video that I posted in about a year or so, so to have positive feedback from people still interested in my channel means the world to me, and I cannot thank everyone enough. So once again, thank you, thank you, even more thanks. But without further ado, let's jump right in. To kick things off, we're going to need a Warcraft log link. This is what WoW Analyzer uses to obtain all its data and review performance. And chances are, if you've been raiding, you know what Warcraft Logs is, and I don't need to go into too much detail with that. But before we get right into our analyzer, there's a couple things I want to note about Warcraft Logs. Just like all performance rating systems, it must be taken with a grain of salt, especially with the sheer amount of people that use Warcraft logs. Just because person A and B use the same corruption, essence, setups, builds, does not mean you can recreate the same circumstances definitively between each person, so please keep that in mind. Now what you're seeing here is my performance on my guild's most recent mythic boss kill, Vexiana since I thought using my own character would be appropriate for use of the video. And as you can see, I play Resto Shaman and I've provided a breakdown of all of my healing abilities and how much they've healed for. This will lead me right into the very first thing I look at when analyzing performance of myself or my fellow raiders, as it can be the most blatant yet the most overlooked factor. And that of course is number of casts. If you cast them more, you're doing more, so let's jump into that. So here, I've highlighted my chain heal ability and how much cast I've done. A lot of times, especially with DPS players, when their performance is lacking, if they compare themselves to another player of the same class with similar item level who has parsed higher on the same fight than them with similar duration, chances are that higher performing player will have just casted their moves a lot more often. The same can be said for healers, but to a much lesser degree, as healing can also be determined by other factors. And now we're ready to use WoW Analyzer. So to start, we're going to copy the Warcraft log URL, and we're going to paste it into the WoW Analyzer Analyze tab. This will allow it to build and compile all of the performance information needed to properly review a character. And as you can see, I have a checklist of my shaman. But more importantly, if you look towards the center of the screen, you will notice the highlighted overview tab. These tabs are what you want to select when you want specific information about certain points in a fight or about your character, but we're going to stay on the overview tab for now. Moving right along, we have the suggestions section, and I'm going to be honest, I have a love-hate relationship with the suggestions section. Why is that? Because it doesn't allow for a lot of nuance. I'll give you an example. At the bottom, you see that I have one out of a possible three casts of Spirit Link Totem. Now, as we know with the nature of healing and raids, a lot of times you can't use your cooldowns on cooldowns. You want to save them, especially powerful ones like Spirit Link Totem, for specific phases in a fight. Or you may be subjected to a wipe because you didn't have the necessary healing to power through a high damage phase. But while Analyzer does not care about this, nope, if you have a cooldown that's not being used, it is hindering your performance. Now, while I can't be mad at them because technically they're right, a cooldown that's on cooldown can't be utilized to increase your performance, it doesn't state the fact that I'm saving my cooldown to actually kill the fight. So that's why I kind of have a love-hate relationship. The suggestions bar is a little bit of a double-edged sword, but again, it still does provide useful and effective information a lot of the time. Moving on to my favorite section of WoW Analyzer, and that is the statistics page. This page has so much useful information, it is crazy, and I guarantee you, every time you visit WoW Analyzer to look over your character, you will be looking at this page the majority of the time. And I'm here to help you break down this page and show you what you should be looking at in terms of statistics, movement, and all that hot stuff, so let's get to it. First things first, as I have highlighted here, this is my stats breakdown, and it's just a shame that WoW Analyzer doesn't do this for DPS, but I guess they assume that you can use raid bots for that. So this is just a healer breakdown, and it tells me what values I get for each stats 
on a specific fight. So as you can see here, clearly leech and versatility damage reduction is the highest stats. But I like the fact that it breaks it down because that tells me, hey, I can maybe swap out a ring that has more of this stat and I can be a little bit more useful on a fight. So I really like the statistics tab. Next up, we have the distance moved. And this is probably the most important thing you want to look at as a range DPS because it can tell you how much you're moving during a fight. It can show if you're moving too much. It can show if you're moving too little. Not <laughs> too little. I just had to pause there. Sorry, but um, no, no, all seriousness. It can show you a lot. And I think it's one of the most useful things because when you have a lot of movement, that almost certainly in tandem goes with you not doing enough damage. Because a lot of the times, if you're moving, you're not able to cast your high damaging abilities. Unless you're a BM Hunter. So I kind of ignore BM Hunters with this. But the movement section is a great, great tool to use. Especially if you are a ranged DPS. And next we have the item section and this basically breaks down the usefulness and effectiveness of your Azerite traits. As you can see, I have highlighted my three Azerite traits that I'm using, Spouting Spirits, Overflowing Shores, and Turn the Tide, and the HPS I'm getting. This also can be used on DPS as it can show you what really useful Azerite traits you should be using or just what value you're getting out of them. So it's really good to see. Next we have the corruption and the essence breakdown. Also trinkets, I keep forgetting that trinkets are on this page. But really, if you look at it, this has a lot of information. So we can see a lot of things, my flash of insight corruption, how much intellect I'm getting from it, how much I'm getting from my leech siphoner corruption. Um, it's a lot going on here. If you look to the left, you can see my visions of perfection, how much healing I'm getting from that. So this is probably the most important section of the statistics page just in general for everyone like i said you know distance moved is more important than range dps but this section is probably the most important for people in general because it has a lot of information and it can answer a lot of questions that you may have such as how much damages am i getting from this trinket really or how much healing is this corruption doing or how much damage is this corruption doing so i really 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 like this section a lot like i said man the statistics page is a really really good page and i'm glad while analyzer has it And the final stop on my video is the character page. Now at face value, this may not look much different than the WoW community site Armory, but it does offer quite a bit of information at an easier access level. Like for instance, you don't have to mouse over my gear to show what Azerite traits I was using or what essences or what talents I was using. Also, what it does is it takes a snapshot of whatever talents and traits and so on you were using during the fight and what your stats were during the fight, which is really, really important when you're trying to compare your character side by side with another character. So another great page from WoW Analyzer. And that's it for my video, guys. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and I hope I was able to help at least a few people out with WoW Analyzer and a little bit from Warcraft Logs to help them better themselves. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video since I get a lot of questions about how to look at Warcraft Logs or what specifically am I looking for. So I just figured making a video was the easiest way to just answer a whole bunch of questions. Um, once again, thank you all for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and share a comment. Maybe you see something that I can improve upon. I'm always looking for a solid feedback. Um, thank you once again for staying subscribed and being a part of my community. Can't tell you how much that means to me. But once again, you guys have been great. I've been Soul, and I'm out. Peace.